<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to the wonderful world of dubious engineering. Lithium ion batteries, drill batteries, strimmer batteries, garden tools. The amount of power that comes out of these is absolutely incredible. What we can't easily do today is gain access to the power inside these things to drive other things like little soldering irons. You're wrong. I've fixed that. <laughs> I've started to design and 3D print my very own little slide-on pack converters, which give you the ability to be able to plug in your soldering irons, to be able to plug in lighting, to be able to plug in whatever the hell you want and drive it with your 18 volt lithium ion cells. That might even be a DC buck converter to change 18 volts down to 12 volts or 6 volts or 9 volts. Take your synthesizer out on the road, perhaps plug it into your guitar amplifier and you can twiddle away on your guitar outside, earn a few pennies busking. I don't know, the options are endless, but ultimately this is no longer proprietary thanks to 3D printing. <laughs> So having these 3D printed cases means that now we can get rid of those cheap and nasty Black & Decker chargers that keep failing and actually use something that's a little bit decent. This here is the IMAX B6. It does lithium ion, lithium polymer, lithium ferric, nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydrides, lead acids, and it handles independent charging with, on the side of it here, you can see all the feedback for up to six independent uh, 3.7 or 4.2 volt lithium cells. It tells you what kind of current the battery's actually taking as far as charge goes, how long it's been on charge, what the voltage of the battery is currently, how much current it's drawing. This is an absolutely magnificent bit of kit. And now we have the ability to be able to hook it up to our Black & Decker House Wrecker batteries. Let me show you around this little project. So using large standard yellow crimp on connectors, I've designed these enclosures so that the crimps effectively fit inside these 3D printed battery housing connectors. Cables can be soldered or crimped into those crimps and then pushed into the holes in the housing, effectively giving you access to the power that's inside that lithium ion cell. I've then gone ahead and soldered some Anderson power pole connectors onto mine because that's pretty much a standard that I tend to use in my household. But ultimately, this gives you then the ability to be able to use these on all kinds of electrical equipment that you might happen to have kicking around your house. And with the use of either a boost or a buck converter, you could convert to almost any voltage you wanted to. You could even make a phone charger out of one of these devices. So at the moment, I've only gone ahead and designed mine around the 18 volt Black & Decker lithium ion cell. I have plans to do the Aldi work zone 18 volt battery and I've also got on order a Makita 6 amp hour that's a 10 cell battery again regulated at 18 volts I have a feeling that I might be making some kind of arcade games console that's battery powered in the very near future. I think that will probably make my wife quite happy because then she can play it anywhere in the house.
As always, thanks ever so much for watching Dubious Engineering. Give us a good thumbs up. Make sure you've subscribed. There may be a useful video coming to you at some point in the near future. Take care. Have a great weekend. We'll speak to you again soon. Cheers and beers, people. Bye for now.